quick video on the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. This is sort of like other coffee makers where they have the uh, K-Cup and then also the regular coffee pot, both available. Now this one, I'll give you an idea, the left-hand side is the regular coffee pot. And as you see, you've got your filter that goes in right there. This is a removable basket. Uh, and then you put your coffee filter in that, and then your coffee, um, not your coffee, your water goes back here. It does have a little safety overflow, so you can't fill it up more than what the tank will actually hold when it makes it. Um, and then on the right-hand side, it's got a separate water tank, which is for the K-Cup, um, if you're making like a single brew, and it holds up to 56 ounces maximum. So you do have to fill this up separate than the other side. Now this is actually removable so that you can remove this and clean it. Um, and then you do have, just because this is a little bit tricky with this being solid black, you do have to push this little lever up with one hand while you're pulling this up because otherwise it's sort of locked down. Uh, you put your K-cup in there and then you push this down. As you see, it's got a little needle down in there and then it's got a little needle right here and it pops a hole on the top and the bottom. And this clicks down, you can hear it click. Um, you can actually remove this um, for taller cups if you want or if you have just a regular coffee cup, uh, that goes right there to help it not have to fall as far. And then of course on this side, like I mentioned, this is just your regular coffee pot. Now on here, you've got a bunch of different options. You can do bold, you can either brew now, or you can also delay the brew. You can set the time, so it does have a clock on here, which I don't currently have set. Uh, you can either do it on the pot side, and you can do regular, or you can do it on the single side, and then you can select anywhere from 8, 10, 12, 14, down to six, and then you can also do the brew strength, which is regular or bold. Um, and then of course you would click that button right there to start the brew. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I personally like these just because you don't have to have the one coffee pot for the regular, and then you have to have another coffee pot for the K, uh, the Keurig, the K-Cups. So for me, this is a um, must-have. So.